Hello YouTube, why is FIFA here? Coming at you with the second episode of the For the Card series, this one about the Ligue 1 team of the season tournament. If you uh, missed the first one, check it out on my channel. The uh, link will be in the description or just click the channel button and go give it a look. I'll eventually make a playlist with all of these, but for right now, let's get into the episode. So those two squads you saw at the beginning, uh, sorry, those were a little quick, but they uh, the squad links will be in the description. The main one was my 4-3-2-1 team, and then I played one game for a fitness squad with that 4-1-2-1-2-2 team, which actually is the first game that you'll see come the gameplay on there right now. Luckily, these uh, both these teams performed well for me, and we got the win on the first try, which is always nice, and uh, you'll see here real quick, I told you guys in that last video that I was going to get you a clip of a free kick goal, and the Suikato steps up, and let's see what happens, and bang, right off. Right off the keeper, off the post, off the keeper again, and in. A little bit cheesy, but we'll take it. <laughs> Next time I'll get you a real one, a legit one. But back to the team. My favorite overall player for this for these two teams was Lucas. That right forward Lucas was just his pace, his passing, and his agility made him the ideal player for getting behind the team, causing dangerous, putting in dangerous crosses or just showing up at really good angles to finish and and he's on that he's on that like level like a Sinye, but the fact that he has a little bit more strength gives him a little bit more bulk allowing him to hold off some of the defenders and just give you that last step to get in a better position and get that finesse shot or regular driven shot right around the keeper and those goals especially in tournaments you need every single one you can get in terms of the fitness I'll just give him a little shout out is that that Tongo Dubia Dumbia uh, silver center mid card. He's a beast. I uh, started. I used him as a little bit of a trade tool in early in FIFA. I mean, his stats. He got 70 plus in all stats, and he's just a monster. He puts in good work and just bosses the midfield. And especially for a silver, he he really he's a really good option. Uh, in terms of the keystone player, I'd have. To, I'm only gonna pick one because the majority of the team was that main squad. And I'd have to give it to that second inform Brian Dabo card. He is a perfect middle center mid in any 4-3-3 variant. His defending ability means that he tracks back well and breaks up all the plays. But at the same time, he has enough offensive prowess to make a nice pass up to the striker or wingers. And at the same time, maybe even get a little step down in when he's coming out the top of the box and give you a nice little long shot goal in. He comes in clutch, as you'll see later on in the episode, just just a really good player, really sound player, and that's what you really need to prosper in these type of tournaments. I would definitely recommend the main team. Uh, the fitness team, I wouldn't recommend. It's a good fitness squad if you're in like lower divisions or a tournament where you're pretty confident that you can win the first or second game. However, it's not that good of a... The fitness squad will not be that good of a team if you're in higher divisions. It will get bossed around. But this main team is a definite recommend. They are balanced, attacking and defensive-wise. They're pretty solid. There's also room to upgrade it with cheaper options if you feel like there's a couple gaps in the squad. And if you don't have the coins for that second inform Dabo, you can put in a player like Toliso or Gornalon's regular card just to give you another rock there. You can even move Matuidi over to that center mid spot and get another different type of... If you like to play and want a center attacking mid in the midfield too you can put that player there and it would work wonders for you definite definite competitive team unfortunately this tournament is over but like i said i'm just going to reiterate one last time you can definitely use this team for divisions or if any future tournaments that come out it's definitely a fun little tidy squad and i really enjoy that braithwaite up top too he gave he's another good little player to give a shout out i really just enjoyed all the attack honestly that that elshar was a little bipolar at times but he comes up big when he needs to, and I uh, didn't even think he was going to be that good when I used him. But he was he was already in my club, and I didn't. I was like, I don't need to really spend that extra coins. And you know, sometimes players will surprise you. So moving on to the kit, the kit is from FC Nantes. It's a uh, they're a solid mid tier uh, league one team. I liked the yellow in them, but I've also uh, just liked that team. They got they got that American uh, Bedoya on the team. He's He's, an, he's a good player. I, I, he hasn't played the best when I've watched him play for the national team, but he's definitely a sound player. 
uh, also I did a little uh, I did a little history project on uh, King Henry the Fourth of France and he came out with the Edict of Nantes which was a little interesting religious legislation that uh, and that helped France move forward in that uh, those early 1400s and stuff uh, I mean I don't want to get too nerdy about it not everybody's that interested in history but go check it out it's a little fascinating period of time and uh, I enjoyed it so there was a couple connections to this uh, to these kits and I like to do that. I'm going to try to continue to do that in uh, my later episodes of uh, For the Card and maybe even try to, in the other new episodes that come out, you know, just try to get some connections with some cool, funky kits that I think you guys would enjoy if you're feeling like FIFA's getting a little boring and you need to spice it up any way you can. Now I'll move on to talking about the gameplay. I'll catch up with the uh, first two games. Um, and there you see that Elshar miss that I was devastated, man. This is, this is a really tight game. This game three, uh, I'll just give a... I was on the back foot. Uh, this guy was played really well, and you'll see he scores some beauties. He scores some absolute thunderbolts, some absolute amazing long shots, but you just got to keep grinding out, even though players like this are scoring ridiculous goals. And uh, I mean, it was getting to the point where I was getting a little salty about it, but <laughs> you'll see what happens at the end. Game one, I was always in control. I, I had those stupid penalties, so I just need to work on a little bit of defending, but other than that, it was good. And game two, you didn't miss. I mean, you didn't miss much when, without me commentating, we were pretty dominant. We even got that rage quit. I was shelling that guy the whole game. But this third game was definitely a challenging game. We went down early, but luckily Lucas came back and uh, gave us that re right away response, which really helped. And there's nothing worse than going down early in one of these games. But at the same time, I, I find it better to go down one goal early because then you have the whole game to try to get back in it. And then he scored that that he scored that near post goal on Ruffier, and I was a little disappointed in Ruffier for that. But there we go, another good couple link up passes there, and Lucas is never going to miss that finesse shot. I was feeling really confident with him, and he was feeling really confident in himself apparently, and he had some just some really good finishing on there. I remember in uh, a couple years ago when he had when him and Neymar were both playing in the Liga Portuguesa or not Liga Portuguesa, uh, Liga do Brazil, and. Uh, those cards were just ridiculous together, putting those two up top. I'm pretty sure they both had uh, striker informs, and that was just a deadly force. But he scores that beauty goal, and I was just getting pissed because at this point I had started to kind of take over a little bit of possession, and he scores a goal like that, and it's always frustrating, but you got to give him credit. But there goes Dumbia, or not Dumbia, there goes Dabo putting in a beautiful little response there, and uh, he just was a really sound player. And he, this is, I love this Matuidi card, and what a goal that was. What an important goal the first time we took the lead in the game, and just an improbable angle, but he tucks that right into that far corner, and then we start putting the pressure on, and we get a chance there, and oh, off the post, and then a beautiful save, and should have really put that chance away. I had another, I had an opportunity to kind of open up a little bit and take that extra touch, but you know, when you're getting in an intense game like this, you... You don't want to mess it up, and you start getting in your own head a little, and you uh, sometimes you can make just decisions that are inches inches wide. But a lot of game, a lot of game left, and again, his keeper just kept making some really nice saves, and he was pressing pretty hard, but my defense was really sound. I liked I liked the combination the way I had back there, and he goes in there with just a desperation tackle. You know, the time's winding down, and. We'll put this with our captain. We'll put it with Dabo. Always going to... And Dabo was putting in some ridiculous penalties for me. I mean, you see putting those in the top corners. No one's going to save those. And we come up into the final game. And this final game, and he's got Lucas, my star player. He's got a really sound midfield. He's got a really sound attack. And he was looking a little bit dangerous. But at the same time, after that last game, I was, I was thinking there's no way another player could have as much luck as that last guy or as much skill. And... We get that off the crossbar to start, and the, as much as I was disheartening to hit the crossbar, I hate hitting the crossbar. It was a it was a good start, just to just showing that we were meaning business and we were getting some good opportunities early. And then this is where Mr. Elshar turned it on, and we got a little bit lucky there with that hold off. But I mean, he came through and he cut through that defense, and he was always thinking, "I'm going to score." And I remember that sil that first year he was in FIFA. That silver AC Milan card was just amazing. Oh, that look the thing was beautiful. People used to put him up top with Ibrahimovic and 
he was going for like like he going for like an ungodly amount of coins that five star skills five star weak foot and he was just such a beast oh th those games were fun man but there he goes again Elshar doing a little close control dribble there so that's the l that's the l that's a left trigger on xbox and the uh just left trigger as well on ps3 i don't know why i had to repeat that both of them are left triggers <laughs> but uh l2 on ps4 if you're if you're using that he comes back down and he was doing this weird i hate this new tactic and i've seen it a lot lately and it's where he quits the game and not quits pauses the game and then it apparently like i guess it think he thinks that it slows his momentum slows the momentum down or something but i just hate it uh i and but then he scores that goal and i can't take anything away from it and i was getting a little caught up with how mad i was getting about that quit thing i not that quit god i gotta stop saying that that pause thing it was just really annoying but the guys were marching down and i had all the confidence in the world after that semi-final i was feeling good i was feeling confident in my players there's lucas again coming up big for us those two goal leads those two goal leads i feel pretty confident i said that in the last game but he just kept being pesky and coming back and i'll give it to him and i uh I, all you guys should know that you should never give up you know just keep coming after him there I, there's no point in rage quitting uh i just i mean you just gotta sometimes fifa just goes one way sometimes it goes the other he lunges in there there's a little bit of lag there but uh, he lunges in there takes me out now he's down to 10 men we have a penalty opportunity if we put this one away it's definitely going to be game over, you know, giving this one to the, giving this one to the big boy, the captain Dabo. Again, I just want to say you, if you have the coins, you could definitely pick him up. He's just a fun budget in form that will be able to compete with the, the top rated players and puts it in the corner. We're looking good with that five, three and it's a tournament. So you got to be ruthless. Uh, he was struggling a little, he's pressing hard. We're coming down here and I had to put it away, man. Sorry boys for the sweat, but had to put that last one away. We're up three goals. Now there's no question. Game's winding down. I mean, I was getting plenty of chances, so it's one of those things where it was bound to happen that one of those headers goes in. We and we get that last kick with Rufier, who is the most played player with in my club. I have like 115 games or something like that with him, but we get the win, boys. Another card added to the collection. Uh, I'm hoping to build a cool squad at the end with all the uh, all the cards we get and all these Team of the Season cards I won. I won the Ruben Castro one earlier, but I'm sorry I didn't get any recording for that. But if you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I just created a Facebook page too, so look at that. It's Ben Wise FIFA.